Oh, I think I just have to hit this. Yeah, it's recording now. Okay. By now, I'd like to discuss with everybody the purpose and, and the understanding of the principles of the Silum Tower Form. The form is designed for balance, training of the eyes, training neuromuscular reaction, stretching of the meridians, and the techniques of the Wing Chun system. It trains your concentration, it trains your coordination. It gives you focus of attention, of attention and also independent movement of the left. When you do the form, you want to make sure that the knee and the shoulders are aligned. You keep everything on the boundary of your shoulder, but you also occupy the center line. It's very important that you always be able to defend the center line. So, I shall perform the stone tile form, and then we will dissect the movement. Doing the cell on tall form, you want to make sure that you put the weight on the quadricep muscle so it helps develop the muscle and help you out with your kick. You must maintain the neutral stance without moving, so you want to tense up the muscles. Also, you want to make sure that your spine is alive and you're looking straight, but you're focusing on your hands. So, I can now dissect the movements of the shoulder. To begin, Pull up, clinch, turn on the knee, pull back, spin, circle left, circle right, hold the neutral step. This technique is going to grab from behind. So when someone grabs you from behind, you sink down, keep it on lifting you up, pull up on slightly higher than the shoulder, circle left, so you're getting direct line with the liver, elbow strike, circle again, elbow strike. That's what that technique is for. Then we go to crossing of the arm. You make sure that you occupy the center line and be able to use the central line without moving your weight. Here, 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 here. Okay, now we at the punch, hand sow, hung sow, clinch, elbow strike. This technique comes into play. When the opponent punch, you do a hand sow chewy, rotate, take that elbow, one, two, three. Ten foul. Rotate, check the elbow. One, two, three. That's that technique. Now, you want to make sure when you pull the wu style in that you have a direct alignment so the force goes away from your body. So when you pull the wu style in, you're not moving your arm like this. You want to move your whole shoulder. So you can Apply the independent movement of the limb, but you're moving your shoulders. 
not just throwing it. The woo style is a backup line. So everything that's out front, the woo style is in the elbow as a backup line. And you must maintain a 45 degree bone line. This alignment will not break down. The second section, the foot style, which means bridge on hand. When you pull the foot style coming from the solar plexus, you put tight symmetrics on your forearm, and then you get out and then you relax and bring the woo style back onto the face. To constantly remind yourself that you must protect your face. You cannot protect your, your face with your guard here. If you fight and grab it, you protect your face by occupying the center line and make sure that the woo style covers the middle. Bit. The foot style application goes on the punch, foot, rotate, palm strike. Foot, rotate, palm strike. For the round strike, you do the foot style, rotate, one, two, three. Same thing. Foot style, rotate, one, two, three. The pack style, pack to the ginger. The punch comes in, you do a pack style, straight away with the same jump. This pack style reaches out from the, from the opponent's arm. This is the first pack style. The second pack style is closer to the body. But we'll get to that when we get to that technique. So, in the form, you always go back to doing the pan style, rotate, chill. So you got to constantly remind yourself. You apply the tan sound, you block it on the, on the center line, and you punch it from the central line. Do not tan sound and punch this way. One is not going to reach. So anyway, it's important that you always face the punch when a person is punching. Now, we have the gum sound. The gum sound, one, two. This technique is designed for block and kick. So when the kick comes, out the way and jump stop and then follow through with my structure. Step out the way, jump out, follow through with the structure. This section here, back with gum style, front with gum style. So when someone grabs you closer to the elbow, what you do, you use your lungs and you push back. And then from there, you pull up and strike them in the black. The next technique you join is the bomb south, lower, flat south, right over left. This technique comes when the punch comes in, I do a bomb south, move it out the way, flat south to the front. When it comes in, bomb south, move it out the way, flat south to the front. Now we have the double pan, double jump, double build south. The punch comes in, you do a tan style, just style, build into the eye. Tan, just, build into the eye. Tan, just, build in. Tan, just, build in. The technique of the gum style to the food style. The first thing is think. After the punch, after the kick comes the punch and vice versa. So, the punch come in, I did a gum style. Got out the way, foot down the hand, take the elbow, and follow through. Gum style, foot style, one, two, three. Gum style, foot style, one, two, three. Now we get this back to the single arm movement. The single arm movement starts with a low pack style and a one jerk which is a side palm to the tan style, rotate, clinch, elbow strike. So when a person punching at you, you're not reaching out for the elbow. You keep the punch closer to the body. So what you're doing is pack style into your shoulder. So when the punch comes, you get that. Pack style, one turn. Turn. Back to all, one turn. 
Okay, so now we at the eight moves. Tan, golf, tan, rotate. Ginger, tan, rotate. Let's double strike. So that's three applications in one. The first one we already do is in turn. Tan sound punch, rotate, check. One, two, three. The second one, the second the upper gate and the middle gate. The punch come, I did a tan sound, gong, check, elbow, go in. Tan sound, gong sound, check the elbow, go in. Then you have the last one. Tan sound, rotate, check the elbow, gene jerk. Tan sound, rotate, check the elbow, gene jerk. Now we have the gong sound to the tan sound. Pull down, back turn. Hand up, rotate, clinch, elbow strike. The punch comes, you do the palm style, here comes the other punch. Hand style, pull it down, palm strike. Ball, hand, pull down, palm strike. Ball, hand, pull down, palm strike. Ball, hand, pull down, palm strike. Now we have the last technique. Where you get a gum sound and you rotate the hand to generate force. So if someone grabs your arm, you gum sound, one, two, three. 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 So it's important that you do the form on a daily basis so you can train the technique and apply the way to the